Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew Sintalski. I'm giving you another UFC prediction video this time for UFC on ABC5, Emmett versus Tapiria. It's going down today in a couple hours, Saturday, June 24th, 2023. Prelim started at 1130. It's going down from Jacksonville, Florida today, guys. They haven't been having a bunch of fight nights in other cities outside of Vegas, so this is one of the rare exceptions they've made and I know that they say they want to branch out to more cities for fight nights and whatnot but uh it's probably in their best financial interest to keep it in the apex since it's super local but uh yeah here we go man early 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 morning of fights I prefer the prelims to start around four but it is what it is guys so pretty sweet poster First off in the prelims, Cody Brundage against um, Cedric, Cedric Dumas. And Dumas, I mean, he kind of disappointed in his last fight for sure. Finished in the second round by Josh Fremd. He had a lot of hype coming off the uh, contender series. Cody Brundage up and down in his UFC career. He's been active. Um, he's out of Michigan, I believe. Or he's born in South Carolina, but uh, I think he was in Michigan for a while. Uh, coming off two losses, no shame. I mean, he lost to Vieira and Olin Jacek, just a savage. But I'm going to side with Brundage here to use his ground game, get it down. Don't stand with Dumas, just get him down. Dumas just throws really wide strikes, I believe. So I'm going to side with Brundage for the for the submission win. Jamal Emmers against Jack Jenkins. I think this is a very underrated fight. Jack, Jen Jack Jenkins has a lot of hype. He's coming off one over Don Ch Shanus. Um, he was on the Contender Series last year. Um, Jamal Emmers, man, I think this guy's really underrated. Coming off a super nice, super nice win over uh, Ashkaboff, who, who, uh, you know, had an undefeated record up until that point. And you know, the guy's, yeah, you know, he wasn't as bad as I, I think people thought he might be. Like, he wasn't just a straight can crusher. So I do, I do like him here. I do like Emmers here. I'm going to side with Emmers here in this fight. Trevor Peak against Chappé Marzikal. Peak's just been on a roll, man. This guy's 2-0, I believe, in the UFC. Just knocking fools out. Knocked Gonzalez out. Um, knocked Malik Lewis out. In the Contender Series. This guy's a finisher, man. This guy's a bad dude. Scoring against uh, Marzikal. Took this fight on short notice. And he's got a lot of wins in LFA, Cage Warriors, Combate Global. But I'm going to side with Pete here by first round submission. Zalgas so Zumagulov, he's going for that Patty Pimblet look. Smart move, getting a lot of attention. He's, he's lost three straight, man. I mean, split a couple split decisions. You know, you got to feel for the guy going up against Joshua Van. Um, the, worry, the worry thing in for Zalgas is that the age difference. He's in his mid-30s. Josh was 21 years old. Again, he's taking this fight on short notice too. Fought in Fury FC. I'm gonna side with Zalgas here, but this is the fight to watch out for. Tabitha Ricci against Jillian Robertson. I don't know why they're really doing this to Robertson, man. Ricci is an absolute savage. Um, great ground control, great wrestling. Coming off a nice win over Penne, Pagliana, Biana. I mean, she's 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 looked awesome, man, in her UFC run. Jillian Robertson is not a bad fighter at all. You know, her, her weakness is, you know, strikers that can grapple, you know, that can kind of just edge her out in the striking, stop her takedowns. So she's coming off some nice wins herself, um, but I just don't think she's gonna be able to match the type of control that Ricci's gonna have, but I look forward to watching it. Mateus Rebecca against Louise Radzimboff. I like Rebecca. I wasn't really impressed with Luik in his uh, UFC debut. Kind of gassed. Rebecca's coming off a nice one over Fiore. Fiore's no longer with the UFC. Luik, I mean, I think he's from the PFL, but you know, all those drug suspensions in the PFL. I'm just wary of all those guys over there, man. Even OAM. Um, he's coming off a win over Esteban Re Re Rebovics, but that was a super, that was a really close fight. I'm going to side with Rebecca. Randy Brown against Terman. We've seen Brown get absolutely starched by JDM. 
no shame in that. There was a lot of trash talk leading up to that fight. Randy Brown is still a good fighter. This is pretty much a striker against grappler. I know Brown can grapple, but I mean, Wellington Terman is a straight grappler here, man. Um, and I and I, I like Randy Brown to get back on track here. Neil Magny against Philip Rowe. I guess the question with this fight is, do you believe Magny's too old? Do you believe he's too over the hill? It's coming off a loss over to Gilbert Burns. We know how good Gilbert Burns is. Absolutely no shame in that. Philip Rowe, this guy's got to this guy's got to build like Neil Magny for the weight class, tall, thin. And this guy wants to strike with you, man. He wants to knock you out, knocked out Nico Price. No, no shock to that. I'm gonna side with Magny here, man. But again, this might be an upset in the making. Brendan Allen against Bruno Silva. As I've thought about this this morning, I am still gonna side with Brendan Allen by submission, but I don't trust Brendan Allen. I think Bruno Silva. You know, if he's taking his training seriously, this guy's a dangerous striker, man. If Ellen can't get this guy down, Ellen's in a world of trouble, man. Bruno Silva will knock this guy out. I think Brad Tavares got lulled into the sense that he could just stand and out, out point Bruno Silva. And it's a dangerous game to play, man. Bruno Silva's a world-class striker. You mess with this guy too long on the feet. You're, you're playing into this guy's wheelhouse. I'm going to side with Brendan Allen here, but he doesn't always fight smart. It doesn't use his strengths to his advantages, so. But I'm gonna side with Allen, but not a confident pick. David Onama against Gabriel Santos. I, I kind of think Onama's a fraud. Um, he's got one round cardio. He goes for broke, lost in Nate Landwehr. Last August, I think that was before all the James Krause stuff broke, obviously. So I don't know where he's training now. Gabriel Santos, really impressed with this guy in his UFC debut against Lerone Murphy. I thought the guy won the fight. Um, looked great in London, I believe, and uh, I am siding with Gabriel Santos in this fight. Justin Taffa against Austin Lane. Um, again, you know they got to throw a heavyweight card, a low-level heavyweight fight on the main card. Guys want to see action. Guys want to see bigger fighters. Um, I'm just not. I'm not impressed with uh, Justin Taffa, man. His cardio. Um, I'm, I'm kind of more high on his brother Junior. But uh, Austin Lane, this guy, I believe, is fighting for Fury FC. Tender series. I'm going to side with him here, man. I'm going to side with him here to pick up the win over Justin Taffa. So my pick will be Austin Lane. Rivas against Barber. Two women that have kind of disappointed throughout their UFC careers. I think Rivas is the less of the disappointment. Barber had so much talk about how she's gonna do this and that. I'm gonna side with Rivas here, man. I just don't trust Macy Barber. I thought she lost her last fight. Absolutely disgraceful that she got the win over Andrea Lee, I believe. You know, not high in her, man. We, you know, I'm gonna side with Rebos. Emin against Aperia. I like Josh Emin here by knockout. Just not really impressed with Eva in his UFC career. I do like what he did to Ryan Hall. I do like what he did to Bryce Mitchell. Don't think those guys were, were at the top of their game in those fights, but I do like Josh Emmett here to get back on track. I know he's older. I know there's a huge age difference, but I think Josh Emmett is a, a really underrated fighter at featherweight, man. And I think he's been disrespected throughout most of his UFC career, in all honesty. I, I do like Josh Emmett, man, um, to win this fight. My picks, guys, again, recap, will be Josh Emmett. Amanda Rebos, Austin Lane, Gabriel Santos, Brendan Allen, Neil Magny, Randy Brown, Mateus Rebecki, Tabitha Ricci, Zagas Zumagulov, Trevor Peak, Jamal Emers, and Cody Brundage.